All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's live broadcast of the St. John's Lady Redskins versus the Thatcher Eagles. This broadcast is brought to you by The Loft and Legacy Team Productions. My name is Celeste Robertson. I'm joined tonight by Chantel Perry. We're headed down to the court now where Mr. Bradshaw of St. John's High School is announcing the starters for tonight's game, followed by the national anthem. And we'll be right back for the tip-off. starting lineup for the Lady Redskins. This is a freedom game for the Lady Redskins tonight, playing Thatcher, who's in the 3A region. Lining up for the tip-off, we've got Olivia Lunt for the Thatcher Eagles against Olivia Wiltbank. And Olivia Lunt will win the tip-off. Number 23 shoots the three-point shot, bounces off the rim, but Thatcher comes away with the rebound. Good hands by Joanne Wall right there, able to get that steal. Somebody's just going to pass it a little bit too far out, and Kinley Crosby doesn't come in time to save that ball. Joanne Wall threw back in. So the Lady Redskins line up in a, looks like a man-to-man -man defense here. And Liberty Raven comes away with the ball.
Nice drive in by Liberty Rabin, but the ball is stripped from her hands. And Thatcher will come away with the rebound. It's number 32, Ashlyn Thompson with the rebound there. Nice pass in to number 20, Olivia Lunt, who puts the ball in the basket. So Thatcher's the first on the board tonight. We're going to get a traveling call on Olivia Wilpank, so Thatcher will get the ball back. Oh, and a beautiful drive by number 21 right there. Just wasn't able to put it in the basket, and Kinley Crosby came away with it there, so the Lady Redskins get another chance at setting up their offense. Three-point shot for Joanne Wall. That'll bounce off the rim, but Olivia Wolpank comes away with it. Joanne Wall gets a second chance, and she puts that one in the basket to tie up the game at two. Nice drive again by Thatcher, but Lady Redskins were able to eventually stop it, come away with the rebound. Liberty Raven with the shot goes off the front of the rim. Number 21, Haley Nicholas drives it all the way to the other end of the court and puts it in. She was really good to take advantage of that. No safety there. Good hands by 23, Mia Carter right there. Able to steal that from Joanne, but nice punch back by Liberty Rabin. What are you looking forward to seeing between these two teams tonight, Chantel? Just some hard, aggressive ball. Like, we saw them last year in the Final Four, and they were phenomenal. So I expect nothing less this year. So I'm just excited for a good, tough ball game between the two. Yeah, absolutely. Thatcher, of course, moved up to the 3A conference this year, but they've still got a really great program. And that one just bounces out. But good hands by Brooke Smith right there, able to get the steal. And the foul. And that will be on Mia Carter, number 23. Brooke Smith puts her first free throw in the basket. So coming into tonight's game, the Thatcher Eagles are ranked number five in the 3A conference, and the Lady Redskins are ranked number three in the 2A conference. So both really good teams, both competitive teams, so this should be a good basketball game tonight. And number 21, Haley Nicholas puts the ball in the basket, so that'll put the Lady Eagles up by three. And a good steal by number 32, Ashlyn Thompson. Oh, and she's able to put it in. Nice fadeaway shot there. So we're going to get our first time out from Coach Davis to try to get his team regrouped, stop the run that the Lady Eagles are on right now. And just a fun little fact, uh, the head coach, Dennis Griffin, it is his birthday today, so a little happy birthday shout-out to him. Yeah, absolutely. Happy birthday to Coach Griffin. We're happy you're spending it here in St. John's tonight. That was a good shot taken by Olivia Wilbank. It just wasn't enough to go in. Yeah, 
Oh, and 21's wide open for three, but she just goes over the hoop. And it looks like it's going to go off of a Thatcher Eagle, so St. John's will get the ball back. But they got a little bit lucky there on that three-point shot. Yeah, absolutely. These Lady Redskins are going to need to uh, box out and get, get those rebounds to prevent the Lady Eagles from getting any second-chance shots. Another nice shot by Olivia Weltbank, but it bounces off the back of the rim, and Thatcher comes away with the rebound. Good hands by Kimley Crosby trying to steal the ball there. Three-point shot from Haley Nicholas, and that'll go in. So that'll put the Eagles up by eight. Haley Nicholas already has six points on the night. Beautiful drive by Kinley Crosby right there. Just wasn't enough power to get that ball in. And that was a good look by number 15, Cassidy Wakefield. But good job by Lady Redskins to be there, break up the pass, and they'll get the ball back here. So we're going to have our first substitution for the Lady Redskins. Hannah Burt, number 22, will come into the game for Brooke Smith. And number 20, Aubrey Wilson, came in for Liberty Raven there. Oh, that's right. We did have an earlier substitution. Looks like Thatcher's playing some good tough D right here. Not giving St. John's anything to work with. And Kinley Crosby's going to get called for that travel. Kinley was looking to pass the ball off, but Thatcher, good defense, cut off all the passing lanes. So they forced the travel there. Got a full court press, though, by St. John's. Trying Easily to pick broken. up the pressure. And number four wide open right there. That will be a long two-point shot. Put the Eagles up by ten. Three-point shot from Aubrey Wilson. Bounces off the front of the rim, but Kinley Crosby's there to get the rebound. That'll bounce off as well. And that last touch to Lady Redskins, so Thatcher will get the ball back. Number 20, Olivia Lunt, comes back into the game for... I'm not sure. Good look by 42 right there to get it to Olivia. Nice rebound by Olivia Wilpank. And a nice drive by Kinley Crosby. Give the Lady Redskins two more points. And it looks like number four, Aubrey Pace, is going to step out right there. It's a great defense by the freshman, Aubrey Wilson. Push. Aubrey Pace over to that sideline and push her out of bounds. Three-point shot for Joanne Wall goes in. So that will bring the Lady Redskins within five of the Eagles. Just about 35 seconds left in this first quarter. And a good look to number 42, Mackenzie Drag. And a nice shot by Joanne Wall, but that just bounces out of the hoop. So Thatcher comes away with the rebound and heads back down the court. Three-point shot. Good rebound by Joanne Wall. Great boxing out there. Five seconds left. Lady Redskins are going to want to get a shot off quickly here, and they're going to throw it away. No shot, so that'll end the first quarter of play. The Eagles are up by seven. They've got 15 points. Lady Redskins have eight. 
So it looks like Haley Nicholas, number 21 for Thatcher, is leading with six points. And number 21, Joanne Wall, for the Lady Redskins, is leading for them with five points. So pretty fast-paced game already. Only one foul has been committed, and that was by the Thatcher Eagles. And so that'll move the game along quickly. Both teams are running the ball up and down the court really well. So we'll see how it comes. What happens here in the second quarter? Chantel, what do you think the Lady Redskins need to do differently going into the second quarter? Um, I think they need to be a little bit more patient and not try to force it in the middle. Uh, like as you've seen right there at the very end of the quarter, Kinley Crosby tried to force it in right there to Olivia Whitbank, I believe. But Thatcher has good hands, and they're just all over that ball. And that's crucial because they're going to have turnovers if they keep just trying to force it. They just need to calm down a little bit, be more patient, and... Remember that it's not always there on the first time around. Yeah, absolutely. The Stature team, they play a tough basketball game. They're physical, and they have a really tough defense. So Lady Redskins need to be a little bit more patient. I agree. Nice look into Kinley Crosby, but not quite able to make it. And Thatcher comes away with the rebound. Oh, and a good look. And McKenzie Dragon able to end up getting that in on her second shot. It's also going to be crucial for the Lady Redskins. Can't give up those rebounds right there. It's a good drive in by Liberty Raven to draw the foul, so she'll go. <laughs> that foul is going to be on number 20, Olivia Lunt of the Thatcher Eagles. That's her first foul of the night. Good job by Liberty Raven to make her first free throw there. She makes her second as well. Number 24, Lizzie Farmer, is in the game for the Lady Redskins. A nice steal there from Liberty Raven. But she picked up her dribble just a little bit too quickly, looking for the pass that wasn't there, and so she's going to get called for the traveling. Nice drive by number 32, Ashlyn Thompson, to put it in the basket and put the Eagles up by nine. She made that look too easy on that press break. Yeah, the Lady Redskins are definitely going to need to slide over and cut off those lanes if they're going to stop the Lady Eagles tonight. But a good rebound right there by Joanne Wall. Able to get it in and draw the foul. She has the opportunity to make this a three-point play here. And she does. So that'll bring the Lady Redskins within six. Good hands by Liberty Raven to break it up, but Thatcher's able to come away with the ball still. They're going to pass it to the weak side. And that'll be a bank shot. And that was number 10, Marley Nicholas. Good hands by Ashlyn Thompson, number 32. We're going to get a foul call on Joanne Wall there. Her feet were not set, so she's going to get called for the foul. And that'll be her first foul tonight. We're going to get a substitution for both teams. Number four, Aubrey Pace comes into the game for the Thatcher Eagles, and Olivia Wilbank for the Lady Redskins comes back into the game. Three-point shot. That'll bounce off the back of the rim. Joanne Wall comes away with a nice rebound. Brooke Smith driving it in. Great job by Brooke Smith to put the ball in the basket. Good defense by Olivia Wilpink right there. Able to shot number 42. McKenzie drags down right there. She seems to be tough on boards. Three-point shot for Brooke Smith. 
That'll bounce off. And number 42, Mackenzie Dredge comes away with the rebound. We're going to get the foul call here on the floor. It's going to be on number 10, Brooke Smith, the Lady Redskins. So Thatcher will get it on their own baseline. And number 20, Aubrey Wilson comes back into the game for the Lady Redskins for Joanne Wall. And number four is wide open for a three-point shot. Although she wasn't able to get it in, Brooke Smith right, right there. We're going to get the rebound. And and lays it in. We're going to get a foul called right there on Aubrey Pace, number four. You can see how crucial Brooke Smith's speed is to this Lady Redskin team. She's able to get to the ball quicker than anyone. Three-point shot for Liberty Raven bounces off, but Olivia Wiltbank comes away with the rebound. Thatcher moving the ball down quickly. Nice pass to number 15, Cassie Wakefield, who puts the ball in the basket. And a little fun fact, Cassidy Wakefield was first team All-State last year. Nice job by Kinley Crosby. Just misses that left-hand layup. And we're going to get another, another foul. That's going to be on number 12, Liberty Raven. And that foul is on number 42, Mackenzie Drake. So she'll go to the line and shoot two. And Joanne Wall will come into the game for the Lady Redskins for Liberty Raven. And it just looks like Thatcher is dominating on these rebounds. They got three consecutive offensive rebounds there. It's not something you want to see from the Lady Redskins. They're gonna need to box out, make sure that they're jumping to get the ball as well. Thatcher was able to out jump them a couple times there. And number 15, Cassie Wakefield puts her first free throw in the hoop. And she puts her second, in, second one in as well, so that puts the Eagles up by eight. Lady Redskins trying to move the ball down quickly here. And good hands by 21 right there, able to block Brooke Smith's first shot. But she goes up and gets her own rebound. <laughs> nice strong hands by Joanne Wall right there. But we're gonna get the jump ball call and Thatcher will get the ball back. Nice fake by number 15, who drives it in and lift, puts it in the basket. That'll put the Eagles up by 10. And good hands by the Eagles right there, able to come out with that. We're going to get another jump ball call in the possession arrows in Lady Redskins' favor this time, so they'll get another chance to set up their offense. Shot from Aubrey Wilson. Bounces over the hoop. 
And that was a good save by Brooke Smith, seeing uh, number 20, uh, Aubrey Wilson, but she just wasn't able to catch that. It was a little bit too low for her. So Hannah Burt will come into the game for the Lady Redskins. Smart job by Hannah Burt to let that ball go out of bounds there. Good hands by Aubrey Pace, number four right there, able to snatch that ball from Kinley Crosby. Three-point shot from Aubrey Pace goes in. So we're going to... Get a timeout from Coach Davis and the Lady Redskins as that put the Thatcher Eagles up by 13. Someone lost track of who they were guarding there. Left number four, Aubrey Pace, wide open at the three-point line. And these Thatcher Eagles, as we've seen tonight, are not afraid to shoot those three-pointers. So moving forward, the Lady Redskins are going to need to help out more, make sure that every eagle is covered. We've seen a few more fouls here in the second quarter. Both teams have four fouls now, but compared to earlier games this season for the Lady Redskins, we're definitely seeing fewer fouls than in those games. Thatcher able to steal the ball there and lay it up. But it looks like we're going to get an offensive foul call. That's going to be on number 15, Cassidy Wakefield. So the Lady Redskins will get the ball back. Three-point shot from Aubrey Wilson. And she drains that one. So that'll bring the Lady Redskins within 10. We'd like to see some more shots like that. Cut the Eagles lead a little bit more before the half. Good hands by Brooke Smith right there, able to break up that play. And a nice pass in right there to Olivia Lunt, who's able to get two points on the board right there. And we're going to get an offensive foul on Brooke Smith, it looks like. Oh, nope, that's going to be called on... Aubrey Wilson. Yeah, number 20, Aubrey Wilson. So Thatcher will get the ball back. And on that last play... You could hear the St. John's coaches yelling at Hannah Burt to help out on that one to make sure that that over-the-top pass isn't open. So we'll see how they do it this time. Great hands by Aubrey Wilson to knock that ball away. But it rolls out of bounds, so Thatcher will get the ball back. Nice tough D by Brooke Smith right there. 
but looks like number 21 Haley Nicholas is going to get that she puts the ball in the basket, draws the foul from Olivia Wiltbank of the Lady Redskins. That's Olivia's second foul of the night. Not able to make that free throw though, so just two points on that play. A good drive by Brooke Smith there to draw the foul. So she'll go to the free throw line and shoot too. And now it looks like they're gonna They're gonna say she was not shooting. They're gonna call it on the floor. Someone's gotta throw it in here for the Lady Redskins. There's a little bit of confusion there on whether it was on the ground or shooting. We're going to see a substitution. Number 24, Lizzie Farmer, comes back into the game for Olivia Wilbank. Shot from Aubrey Wilson. That'll bounce over the hoop, but Lizzie Farmer is able to come away with the rebound. And Hannah Burt shoots it for three, but... And that fouls on number 15, Cassie Wakefield. That's her second of the night. So that'll put the Lady Redskins in bonus, so they'll be able to shoot one and one with Joanne Wall at the line. And Joanne's first free throw just goes out. We're gonna get a jump ball call and possession arrows for the Thatcher Eagles. Just in and out of the hands of number 15, Cassidy Wakefield. So position will go back to the Lady Redskins here. Three-point shot from Hannah Burt. Back, bounces off the back of the rim. Thatcher was the last to touch it there before it went out of bounds. So Lady Redskins will get the ball back with 27 seconds left in the first half, and that ball was thrown away. Looks like it was tipped by the Thatcher Eagle, so St. John's will get the ball back on their own baseline. Another three-point attempt from Hannah Burt. Bounces off the front of the rim. Aubrey Wilson tries to shoot it, but gets blocked. With just 10 seconds left. Good to see from Lizzie Farmer. Nice physical basketball diving after the ball there. So, and it hit off the Eagles last, so Lady Redskins will get the ball back. And Aubrey Wilson puts the ball in the basket to end the first half. So that should put the Lady Redskins at 22 points, I believe. That was a two-point shot. We'll have to see here, but Thatcher Eagles, 34 points. Lady Redskins, either 22 or 23 points. We'll figure that out here in just a minute. But that'll end the first half of play. Chantel, do you have a point breakdown? Yeah, so um, they just fixed the score. So in the first quarter, 
the Lady Redskins had eight points and the Thatcher Eagles had 15. So it was a little bit matched right there, but to end it off, Joanne Wall, number 21, has eight points. Aubrey Wilson, number 20, has five points. Brooke Smith, number 10, has five as well. And Liberty Raven and Kinley Crosby both have two points. And then for the Thatcher Eagles here, you got number 21, Haley Nicholas, with eight points. Number 15, Cassidy Wakefield, with six. Number 10, Marley Nicholas, with two. Number four, Aubrey Pace, with five. And Mackenzie Drag and, and Ashlyn Thompson, both with four. So in the second quarter, they were both pretty evenly matched as well with the Lady Redskins scoring 14 points and Thatcher scoring 19. Yeah, absolutely. So we're gonna sign off for now, but we'll be back for the second half.
All right, welcome back. And uh, there's like <laughs> two minutes, just about two minutes here until we start the third quarter. Um, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about Dennis Griffin, the head coach. Um, I was able to interview him before the game. And he's been a coach for one and a half years now. And he said the girls are fun. That's what he loves about coaching. And one of his daughters is playing. I'm assuming it's Jade Griffin, number 45. So he said once she was old enough to play, he wanted to come out here and coach. And he wants the girls to remember that remember him for having fun. And he just wants them to enjoy the game. And last year when they were still in 2A with us, they actually went to the state championship and won it. So that was pretty awesome. But Dennis Griffin went to Thatcher, and he played basketball there. But he also continued to play basketball, and he played for the University of Colorado. And then once he graduated, he just went to work. But awesome job by him to be a really good basketball player. And he has some assistant coaches here, which is Sean Wakefield and Lydia Carter. And again, a little happy birthday shout out to Dennis Griffin. All right. Thank you, Chantel, for providing all that information for us here tonight. We don't get to see Thatcher too much anymore now that they're in the 3A conference, so we're happy to have them here tonight. Just about to get underway here in the second half. For the Lady Redskins, the five starters will take the court once again. Joanne Wall, Kinley Crosby, Olivia Wilbank, Liberty Raven, and Brooke Smith. Got some good movement on the court, but also some really good defense here by Thatcher. They've been playing a tight man-to-man -man coverage all night. Great offensive rebound there by Brooke Smith. Nice shot from Olivia Wiltbank right there at the elbow, but just was kind of short. So we're already seeing the Lady Redskins come out with quite a few offensive rebounds. It's good to see. Three-point shot from Kinley Crosby bounces over the rim. But once again, Lady Redskins were able to come away with it. Nice D right there by number 23, Mia Carter. Able to break that up. Good look by Joanne Wald to Kinley Crosby right there, who's able to draw the foul. Foul is going to be on number 20, Olivia Lunt. So Kinley Crosby will go to the line and shoot two. Actually, that foul was on number 21, Haley Nicholas. So that's her second foul of the night. Kinley's able to put one of her free throws in. Nice bounce pass into number 32. Good pop out to 21 right there. Haley Nicholas who's able to make that three-point shot. Once again, Lady Redskins got a little bit lost there. Left a left an Eagle player wide open. Three-point shot from Liberty Raven banks it off the glass.
She does a really good job of taking advantage of that little space her defenders give her. So good job by Liberty Raven right there. And good tough offense right there by the Lady Redskins. Thatcher will knock it out of bounds. So Lady Redskins will get the ball back at their own baseline. Good hands by Olivia Hunt right there, able to block that pass. Rebound by the Thatcher Eagles. They'll get to set up their offense once again. Looks like 21's wide open over there. Maybe they'll see that. And it looks like the Lady Redskins have dropped into a 2-3 zone here in the second half. I think that was smart. Able to dominate on boards right there. Good drive by Brooke Smith right there. She'll get fouled on the shot, so she'll get a chance at two free throws. That foul was on number 15, Cassidy Wakefield. And that's her third foul of the night. And that one's just a little bit short. So we're going to see three substitutions for the Eagles. Number four, Aubrey Pace. Number 10, Marley Nicholas. Number 42, Mackenzie Drage comes into the game. And Brooke Smith put enough on that one to put in the basket, and that'll bring the Lady Redskins within 10 of the Eagles. And we've seen a full court press from the Lady Redskins picking up that intensity. Nice ball handling by number four with the behind the back dribble. Good hands by Brooke Smith to steal the ball there. She can feel some momentum with these Lady Redskins now. Nice drive by Kimley Crosby. She's going to draw the foul on the ground. And that number that foul was on number four, Aubrey Pace. It's going to be her second foul tonight. Nice pass into Olivia Wilbank. Not quite able to get it in. Number 10, Marley Nicholas, is going to get fouled on the shot, so she's going to go to the line. That foul's on Kenley Crosby. Her first foul of the night. And Marley's able to put that first free throw in. And her second as well. Lady Redskins trying to get the ball down quickly. Nice look into Olivia Wilpank who puts the ball in the basket. Picture perfect from the Lady Redskins right there. But the Thatcher Eagles come right back, embrace the full court press from the Lady Redskins. And we're going to get the foul on Olivia Wilbank. That's her third foul of the night. So that's going to send number 20, Olivia Lunt, to the line, shooting two. First one bounces off the back of the rim. And we're going to get a substitution. Aubrey Wilson will come in for Olivia Wilbank, who's in a little bit of foul trouble here at the beginning of the third quarter. Nice rebound by Aubrey Wilson. Passes it up the court quickly. Nice look over to Joanne Wall. That one, not quite enough on it. Bounces off the front of the rim. And right out of the hands of number 42 right there. So it'll be the Redskins ball. And number 21, Joanne Wall right there. Going for a three-point butt. 
just over the rim. Looks like we wouldn't get a hard foul right there on Kinley Crosby, number 11. And number 23, Mia Carter, is going to come in for Thatcher. Three-point attempt from number four, Aubrey Pace, who puts it in the basket. We're going to get a timeout from Thatcher Coach Griffin here. So coming out of that halftime, Lady Redskins looked like they had a little bit of momentum building in their favor. But Thatcher Eagles have come right back, kept their lead here in the third quarter. They're up by 13. Thatcher Eagles will bring the ball in on the sideline. Lady Reds can stay in that 2-3 zone. Aubrey Pace goes for another three-point shot that bounces over the rim. Lady Reds can come away with the rebound. Lady Redskins will get the ball back at their baseline. Looks like there's not a lot of movement right here from the Lady Redskins. Uh, there they go. Three-point shot for Joanne Wall. Bounces off the back of the rim. And a three-point shot from number 23, Mia Carter. That one will bounce off. Lady Redskins come away with the rebound. We're going to want to see the Lady Redskins set up some kind of offense here, maybe get some plays running. And we're going to get the traveling call on number 23, Mia Carter. So the Lady Redskins will get the ball back. Shot from Aubrey Wilson. And that'll go in. That one just gets away from number 10, Marley Nicholas. So the Lady Redskins will get the ball back. We're going to see number 21, Haley Nicholas, come back into the game. Yeah. And Aubrey Wilson's going to get called for the travel.
Good look in right there. But smart of Olivia Lunt to pass back out to number 23, Mia Carter, who's able to get that three-point shot. So we're seeing a tale of two teams tonight. Nice drive by Aubrey Wilson to lay it in. Wide open lane. Both teams have shot a lot of three-pointers. But Thatcher has definitely had many more go in. Good drive by Mia Carter. Wasn't able to get it in, but Kinley Crosby is going to be the last one to touch that air ball right there. So Thatcher's ball under their hoop. Thatcher's doing a really good job of making the Lady Redskins move out here. But a nice rebound by number 15, Cassidy Wakefield, who's able to put it back in. Cassidy Wakefield, the only eagle there, surrounded by Lady Redskins, and she was able to come away with the rebound and the basket. And Thatcher almost added two additional points there after the steal. So that'll end the third quarter of play here tonight. Thatcher Eagles 47, Lady Redskins 33. Lady Redskins just haven't been able to cut that lead since the first half. They've gone on small runs, but the Thatcher Eagles have come right back, drained some three-pointers, taken the momentum back in their favor. So the Lady Redskins are going to need to shut them down, on shut the offense down for the Thatcher Eagles, and they're going to need to get their offense going on the other end as well. Hopefully some of their three-point shots that they're taking will start to fall. And it looks like uh, Redskins and uh, the Eagles are pretty even, pretty, yeah, well even right here in the third quarter. The Lady Redskins had 11 points scored and the Eagles had only 13. So it was a good matchup right there in that quarter. Let's see what they can both come out and do here. Number 21, Haley Nicholas is leading for Thatcher with 11 points. And Aubrey Wilson, number 20 for the Lady Redskins is leading with nine. Nice shot there by number 20, Olivia Lunt. Nice look into Joanne Wall, and that one will just roll over the hoop. But, but good hands by Brooke Smith right there, able to steal it back. And, and a beautiful pass over to Joanne Wall, and that one just bounces out as well. Joanne just not having good luck there. She's got the attempts. You can see she's a little fired up. Yeah, those are pretty crucial for the Lady Redskins because Lane should be one of the easiest things to do on the court. Especially when you're playing a team like Thatcher, you gotta make the shots that they give you because you're not gonna get too many of them. A deep three from number four just bounces out. Oh, and good hands by number 23, Mia Carter. Able to get that steal. And it looks like she's gonna get a foul too. That foul's going to be on number 12, Liberty Raven. That's her second foul of the night. Nice job by number 15, Cassidy Wakefield to keep going up hard and strong and get that foul. And that will be on number 21, Joanne Wall. And that will be her second on the night. 
Not quite enough on that first free throw. That'll bounce off the front of the rim. That second one bounces out as well. So Lady Redskins trying to push the ball down quickly here. And Kinley Crosby's going to get called for the traveling. She dragged that back foot. And number 21, Haley Nicholas, puts the three-pointer in the basket. So that'll put the Thatcher Eagles up by 19 points. And that was Haley Nicholas's 14th point on the night. You can see she was hesitant to shoot it there. I think the Thatcher Eagles are probably trying to just be patient with their shots and run out as much time on the clock as they can, but when you're Given that wide open of a shot, you got to take it, and she did, and she put it in the basket. As we're coming towards the end of the season here, you can see that the Lady Redskins might be a little bit fatigued. They've had a lot of games packed into a short time period. They played on Friday night, Saturday, and now they're playing here tonight. So not a whole lot of time to rest. I'm sure their legs are tired. And they've got five games over the, the next seven days as well. So a lot of games, not a lot of time to rest before we head into the playoffs this year. But we'll see what they can do with just under six minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Oh, good look by Joanne Wall to Olivia Wilping, number 33, who's able to get those points in. And that's just the second basket for Olivia Wilping tonight. She's such a crucial part of this Lady Redskin offense, so it's good to see her get involved. I'd like to see her get a little bit more involved as well. Good help side right there by Olivia Wiltbank. We're going to get a three-second call on number 15 of the Thatcher Eagles, so Lady Redskins will get the ball back. We're going to get a couple of substitutions as well. Kinley Crosby and Liberty Raven will come out of the game. Hannah Burt and Aubrey Wilson will come into the game for the Lady Redskins. Three-point shot for Joanne Wall. It just bounces off. And we're going to get a pushing foul here. It's going to be on number 15, Cassidy Wakefield. That's her fourth foul tonight. That was an interesting call. Yeah, both players going for the ball. Yep. So we're going to get a traveling call. Good crossover by Joanne Wall right there on number 32. Nice pass. Over to Olivia Wilpink, who puts the ball in the basket. Smart basketball there by Brooke Smith. See the Lady Redskins going into a full court press, picking up the intensity a little bit here. The Lady Redskins go back to a man-to-man -man defense. 
And we're going to get a timeout from Thatcher. So it's good to see Olivia Wilpank get more involved with this Lady Redskin offense. Like I said earlier, she's been a crucial part of the offense this year in the games that the Lady Redskins have won. She's been she's put up a bunch of points on the board in the games that they've lost. She's hasn't been as involved. So she's definitely a game changer if she can score the points for the Lady Redskins. Good hands by Olivia Wilpink right there reading that play. And a beautiful crossover. She's going to take it in, and she's going to lay it up with her left hand. Beautiful play by Olivia Wilpink. She's definitely coming alive here in the fourth quarter. I think that was pretty impressive of Olivia Wilpink, too. Not a lot of posts can just dribble down, have good ball skills, and make a play like that. So good job on Olivia's part. Absolutely, and that's going to be the fifth foul called on number 15, Cassidy Wakefield, so she's going to foul out of the game. So we're going to get a substitution for her, number 20. Olivia Lunt will come into the game for the Eagles. Yeah, you don't see too many posts that can steal the ball and go rim to rim with a nice crossover in the process, so great job by Olivia Wilpank there. Nice shot by Hannah Burt. Good save by number four, Aubrey Pace right there. And a good defense by the Lady Redskins right here. Not really giving Thatcher anything. Three-point shot from number 20. And that'll go out of bounds, so Lady Redskins will get the ball back. You can see they're getting their second wind here, but they're running out of time, so they're going to need to make quite a few baskets in a short amount of time. They're going to want a chance to tie it up and then take the lead. Yeah, they got to get moving here, find a play, waste no time. Good hands by Olivia Lant right there, able to block Hannah Burt's shot. A great timeout from Coach Davis. He saw his player, Aubrey Wilson, was able to get a hold of the ball, but if she rolled over, she was going to get called for traveling. So we'll get the timeout from the Lady Redskins. It's great to see fans in the stands. We're still not able to have full capacity based on health guidelines, but we're excited to see those that could make it. Good nice. fake by Hannah Burt right there, able to get those points too. It drains the two, so after some misses early on, Hannah Burt has really come alive and she's starting to drain her shots, and this is the perfect time to do it. Good hustle by the Redskins. Oh, and a nice travel call on number 20. So the Lady Redskins are within nine. They can come alive here a little bit more. 
Hannah Burt thought about the three-pointer, but she's going to get called for the travel. You can hear some of the St. John's fans aren't too thrilled with that call. But Thatcher will bring the ball back. Good defense there by Joanne Wall and Olivia Wilbank to break up the pass, but Thatcher comes away with it again. And we're going to get a timeout from the Thatcher coach with just under two minutes left to play here. Good job by the Lady Redskins uh, just getting Thatcher all rattled up here. They're trying to, like, force things, so really good job on the Lady Redskins' part to have that good defense. Yeah, absolutely. I imagine Coach Griffin is telling his girls now that they have a sizable lead. There's less than two minutes left in the game, so there's no need to force passes. There's no need to force shots. They just want to play patient basketball, run the clock out as much as they can, and limit the number of turnovers so that they limit the number of opportunities that the Lady Redskins have to cut the lead here. Good double D right there by Brooke Smith and Joanne Wall. We're going to get a foul call. It's going to be on number 10, Brooke Smith of the Lady Redskins. It's her second foul of the night. And we'll get another foul call. That's going to be on Joanne Wall. And that's going to be her third of the night. And that will send number 32, Ashlyn Thompson, to the line for the Eagles. Nice rebound. Great job by Brooke Smith to get her own rebound there and put it back. So the Lady Redskins are within seven with just about a minute and a half to go. And they're going to foul number four, Aubrey Pace. So she'll be shooting one and one. And that foul will be on Kinley Crosby. Also her third of the night. She wasn't able to make that, and Kinley Crosby was able to get that rebound, so Lady Redskins are within possession again. Great job by Olivia Wiltbank to save it there from getting turned over, but the Lady Redskins get out rebounded. We're going to get a jump ball call, so the Lady Redskins will get the ball back. Phenomenal job by Brooke Smith right there. See number 23, Mia Carter, is not happy with the call. She's telling the ref that the Lady Redskins came over her back, but... Three-point shot here for Hannah Burt. That'll just bounce off the back of the rim. But once again, Brooke Smith comes away with the rebound. And Thatcher will hit it out so the Lady Redskins will get another opportunity. And we're going to have a substitution, number 42. Mackenzie Drage will come back into the game for number 20, Olivia Lunt. And just too hard of a pass for Kinley Crosby to maintain possession, so it's going to be Thatcher's ball. We've got just about a minute left to play, so the Lady Redskins are going to need to, to foul to stop the clock or steal it like Brooke Smith almost did there. And instead, she's going to get called for the foul, so it's going to send number 23, Mia Carter, to the line. 
She'll be shooting one and one. Shout out to Jessica Greer, St. John's High School alumni, former Lady Redskin, who's watching the game tonight. Her family's now mainly in Thatcher, but they'll always be Redskins to us. This is Mia Carter's first time at the line, so let's see what she does here. Just out of the hoop. The Lady Redskins get out rebounded. But Hannah Burt takes the ball away. It's a feeding frenzy down on the court. And we're going to get a jump ball call. And it's going to be Thatcher's ball right here. So we hate to see that. Lady Redskins just weren't able to come away with it cleanly there. We're going to have a substitution. Aubrey Wilson's going to come into the game for Olivia Wiltbank. We're going to have to foul. And Brooke Smith is the one to foul there. That's going to be Brooke Smith's fourth foul tonight with about 48 seconds left in the game. So Mia Carter will go back to the line. Let's see if she can do something here. She wasn't able to make her other one, so. But she'll make that one. That'll put the Eagles up by eight. We'll have another substitution, number 10. Marley Nicholas will come into the game for number 32, Ashlyn Thompson. Oh, nice. Mia Carter is able to make, oh, a line violation by Mia Carter. So that second one's actually not going to count. So Lady, Red, Lady Redskins here, under 50 seconds left to go in the game. They're going to have to get a three-point shot off. They're going to have to quickly make some baskets. Joanne Wall with a three-pointer. That'll bounce off the rim. The ball bounces around quite a few players there. It's going to last go off a Lady Redskins, so Thatcher will get the ball back. The Lady Redskins are going to go into a full court man-to-man -man defense. And a nice deep pass to Aubrey Pace, but Kinley Crosby gets in there. You can hear the fans there. Good hustle by number 20, Aubrey Wilson, and number 11, Kinley Crosby, able to break up that play. Collided. We're going to get a timeout from Thatcher. Just about 30 seconds left to go. It's a tall order for the Lady Redskins to come back at this point, but nothing's impossible. We're going to get the foul call. And that'll be in double bonus. And that foul is going to be on number 10, Brooke Smith. So that'll be her fifth foul of the night. She's going to foul out. And number 23, Mia Carter, puts her first free throw in the basket. Olivia Wiltbank will come into the game. Great job by Brooke Smith tonight. She's such a hustler. Great on defense. Able to get a lot of steals. Make quite a few points for these Lady Redskins here tonight. And Mia Carter puts her second free throw in as well. So that'll put the Thatcher Eagles up by 10. Three-point shot by Aubrey Wilson. Bounces off the front of the rim. But Kinley Crosby is able to out-hustle the Eagles and get the rebound. Three-point shot by Joanne Wall. Banks it off the glass. Oh. And we'll get the foul on Hannah Burt, number 22, the Lady Redskins. But as earlier as you saw, uh, number 23, Mia Carter, was able to make her free throws, and I think that's pretty impressive when it matters most. She is knocking them down, and that's going to be crucial in games to come. So good job on Mia Carter's part here. We'll see a substitution. 
Liberty Raven will come into the game for Olivia Wiltbank. And Mia Carter makes her second free throw. So we got 10 seconds left. Liberty Raven with the three-point shot. That'll bounce over the rim. And a good rebound by number four, Aubrey Pace, who's bringing it down. And she'll dribble out the clock, and that'll finish it off here. Thatcher Eagles 57, Lady Redskins 48. Tough loss for the Lady Redskins. We've seen it a couple times this season. They get it going in the fourth quarter, but they just run out of time. They get the momentum a little too late in the game. But great effort by the Lady Redskins tonight. Great job by the Thatcher Eagles. Congratulations to them on their win. Good luck to them for the rest of the season. I'm sure that they'll go far into the playoffs and contend for a 3A state championship. And our Lady Redskins, they've got quite a few games in the next week or so here, so hopefully they can bounce back, get some wins, and head into the playoffs with a lot of momentum on their side before they get a little bit of a break. So thank you all for watching tonight. We've loved having you. If you're sticking around for the boys' game, we'll be back in just a little bit. Have a wonderful evening.